you clicked on this video because you want to be a mid ladder menace well i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it with this cannoneer mega knight and golem night witch deck with triple spells evil firecracker and little prince let's go this deck takes absolutely no skill to use now you know i'm kind of joking when i'm saying that but sometimes it just feels like it's super easy to play this deck and it might be the league that i'm in i was at league five today pushed all the way up to league eight on stream with this deck i used this deck to get my world record with the most amount of three crown wins in a row i believe it was either 13 or 14 three crown wins in a row in ranked play so this deck is really good at three crowning people really good at making them give up and right now we just have to assert our dominance shout out sir tag we just got to place our golem down go night witch and if they defend this they're not going to be expecting a mega knight they're not going to be expecting me to have lightning fireball arrows not even little prince now that tombstone i don't even think is going to target the golem it is okay he he also has inferno dragon which uh, kind of makes this a little tough. He zaps my Night Witch bats. And my Little Prince is just going on his own little mission. I'm okay with that. The reason why I have the Cannoneer Tower Troop. Is just that really high amounts of damage. Seem to benefit like these beatdown style of decks. Now I do have to take damage there. I could have arrowed. But um, I want my arrows in case he has something that... Uh, I could get some good value with. I wasn't going to get much value. And look at that. We're, we're just going to take the tower with the Mega Knight. Like I said, your opponents are not going to be prepared for you to go Golem Night Witch and then have a Mega Knight. It takes a lot of Elixir to counter these cards, especially early on single Elixir. It's really hard to counter a Mega Knight. If you already spent like your Tank Killer, which is his Inferno Dragon. Now we're going Golem Night Witch again. You basically just want to keep going Golem Night Witch. Now we have the three spells to support us. I'm just going to Lightning, the Lava Hound, and the Inferno. And we we just get a Tombstone as collateral, which is just amazing there. And we're going to be able to defend this Lava Hound easy peasy. He's got another Inferno Dragon down, but it doesn't really matter because we defended this tower. 30 seconds left. All we have to do is do a little bit more defense. Just going to throw my Nightwish down. Get some bats for those. For that Inferno Dragon. He goes in with another Lava Hound. I'm just going to go in with a Mega Knight to kind of just distract. Little Prince is going to help out tremendously. We're just going to get arrows. Also, against Balloon, the Inferno... Not the Inferno. The Cannoneer Tower is just so much better than every other Tower Troop. And I struggle against that the most. It just complements this deck perfectly. It's really nice to see that Supercell is adding things so that you can get wild shards for free. I hope they continue to do this and add more ways for people to earn the wild shards for free. I think it's a great idea. Keep up the great free stuff, Supercell. Alright guys, basically my thought process with this deck, it really takes no skill. Um, you just kind of react to what your opponent's doing. But also if you want, you can go Mega Knight, you can go Golem first play. We are mid ladder menaces, but you know, we can be a little smart about it. So I'm just going to go Mega Knight to counter the Hog Rider. I'm glad I didn't just willy nilly a uh, Golem or a Mega Knight because he does have the Inferno Tower, I mean, Inferno Dragon and the Skeleton King, which is going to be uh, a little rough to deal with. And I think Skeleton King is just going to completely ignore. Uh, my little prince and the tower is now down to 300 health fantastic we're gonna be able to come back from this though i'm just gonna go golem in the back here that valkyrie you know it's going to take the tower unfortunately canyon should do some decent damage to it but we're just gonna have our night witch bats and i wish take it out but this is looking pretty good here he goes with another hog rider which i'm fine with because i'm just focused on this push right here taking out this wizard and luckily we get an inferno dragon as well these batch should take it out before it takes out my golem and now he's gonna have a really tough time defending this right here uh he then goes with the 
Electro Wizard, which just dies pretty much immediately. Now, we are mid lighter Menace, so we're going to drop the Mega Knight in the pocket. And it's going to just hop right onto the tower, basically taking out the entire tower if he doesn't have any more Elixir to defend it. And at this point, we have to defend his Hog Rider, which I'm just going to place Lil Prince. Not going to activate Lil Prince's ability. I could have because we had double Elixir coming up. But at this point, I feel like I could just defend and take out that tower pretty easily. Now, he could also take the tower. But uh, I don't think he's going to because the only reason he took that other tower was I let the Skeleton King hit the tower. And I'm not going to let that happen again. Now, can we get a Lightning with the Inferno and the Wizard? Yes, we can on the tower. Took it all out. 30 seconds left. A Fireball onto a hog rider works tremendously well when you're defending it so does a mega knight that's why i love the cannoneer tower troop because you can defend hog rider balloon just a, lo a lot of cards that kind of struggle with princess tower the cannoneer does extremely well even though i think that the cannoneer needs a little bit of a damage buff they did nerf it by three percent damage a while ago i wish they would add that back now I have got an ultimate champion with this deck. I basically only use this deck uh, on this account. I don't have any other cards leveled up. So I have gone all the way to ultimate champion. I have won games within ultimate champion. But I honestly have not pushed that much uh, with this deck. But I'm going to try and do that this season. We have about 9 days left. I'm going to try and get my other account up to top 1000. And then just use this account to kind of chill out. Let's actually just focus in on the game right now. Our opponent has the Dagger Duchess Tower Troop. Now, because we are a mid ladder menace, we have to think like one. We're going to go Mega Knight in the back to assert our dominance. And uh, he's, he's going to assert his dominance too. I, I would go Night Witch. I like going Night Witch behind the Mega Knight. I feel like if we just cycle our Firecracker this time, it would be a little bit better. Let's see what he's got. And he also has the Mega Knight. Um, now, man, this is tough. I'm just going to have to go Night Witch here. I'm going to have to go Arrows. And I think, honestly, this will be enough to counter. The Cannoneer does extremely well against Sparky. Tankier troops, as long as you're able to like tank and distract for their tanks... You can get some really good damage. Now, this is going to be tough. But I am just going to go Golem in the back. I don't think he has enough Elixir for another Sparky. And he does have to cycle back to it. Uh, I think he has like a couple more. Or just one more card to before he gets there. Um, but who knows. Maybe he's going to use a different card to defend it. Other than Sparky. No, he, he do literally does not. So, uh... We're just going to go with our Little Prince and our Firecracker. Try and get that Firecracker Evo. It's going to be very helpful later on. And he doesn't seem to have like a good response to it immediately. So I think we could get some pretty good value. Uh, I'm going to go Mega Knight here. Hopefully he doesn't place Mega Knight in front of the Sparky. And he does. Uh, I am going to Lightning this to mitigate the, the sparky we're also going to arrow which takes out the sparky and the firecracker our mega knight might hop yes let's go he got the electro wizard now our opponent he has dagger duchess which is really good for us now i think what we could try to do here get a golem night witch and then go opposite lane with the mega knight i don't know how well that's gonna work because you know he also still has mega knight but I'm also I'm just gonna get Little Prince so we get that three card cycle. Uh, I'm gonna fireball the cannon and the firecracker here. I'm not gonna worry about uh, the Mega Knight just yet with like other troops, but I will activate the Guardian ability, get our Evo Firecracker down, and uh, we're gonna wait a second here. I'm gonna get my Mega Knight down on the Sparky. And look at our Firecracker just absolutely providing so much value. Same with our Mega Knight. We have done absolutely like no damage to our opponent's tower. But I'm hoping we can get this Golem and Night Witch down there. Uh, he does have the cannon. So we're going to have to Lightning that. Let's wait a second here. 
I'm going to Lightning now. I'm also going to Fireball on top of the Sparky to counter it. And our Golem should get to the tower. Should get some nice damage. He has to go with Firecracker. I'm going to get my arrows down. And now look at all the damage that we did to the tower. He just wastes a cannon right there. And what we can do... Honestly, we can just go Firecracker, and that's going to get some nice chip damage. Let's go. He's got to force out the, the E-Wiz. I can get a nice little Prince ability right here. I'm going to go Mega Knight, actually. Uh, that fi Evo Firecracker is going to be hard to deal with. And he goes with Mega Knight. We do have to be very careful here. I think a nice Fireball. And just going with the Golem right here is going to be our best bet. Get arrows to deal with both of those firecracker. Cannon as collateral. We still have to be very careful. But I think that we we got this game in the bag pretty much. I'm just going to go with another Mega Knight. And uh, let's pop LP ability as well. Deal with this E-Wiz a little bit. We got 13 seconds left. And our opponent has no time to do anything. Let's just go with the fireball. Let's go in with a Night Witch and Lightning. That, I think that's going to win us the game. Let's go. GG's. Alright, this guy has the Golem in his badges. So we shall see if he's using Golem as well. Now, um, okay. He goes Inferno Tower first thing. I'm just going to go Mega Knight in the back. Again, we are a mid-ladder menace, so we have to play like one. I'm just going to play this Mega Knight like it's a Golem. Now, okay, he does have the Inferno Drag. I mean... Electro Dragon and the Tesla. This is going to be tough. I am just going to fireball this though. Mega Knight's just going to hop onto the tower. That's absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> but Night Witch and Little Prince. Kanander does a really good job against the Electro Giant, which is another reason why I love it. It's just very efficient with its damage. Although it's a little bit slower, it does. A little bit less damage than what it used to. I still think it's still very solid. And people do kind of overlook it. Because of the advantages that the Princess Tower provides. With its HP. I wish that they would. You know just. Please please Supercell buff it again please. Alright I'm, I'm just going to Lightning this. Um, get a Night Witch at the bridge. Don't want that to charge. Kanir should do the job with the bats. 710 health left on the tower. I think we should get a bat nibble. Maybe two. We get, we get two. So that's just in uh, lightning arrow range here. So at this point, we just have to play defense, which I know we can. We're just going to go Little Prince in the back here. See what else he puts in front. He just puts the uh, Electro Giant there. We're just going to Fireball arrow this. We're going to pop LP ability as well. And the Guardian and Canyon Air Troop, Tower Troop, are just going to take it out. We have a minute left. I'm very confident that we can continue to just keep applying the same pressure. Is Guardian going to get a hit? No. Almost, though. Okay, he goes with the Witch in the back. I'm still just going to Lightning that Witch. He then voids my Firecracker. But look at what we got on defense. The Mega Knight. <laughs> uh should help us out I'm, I'm actually going to fireball the tower here um and let's see what else. i think he has to place oh he has mega knight too so <laughs> no way uh i think it would have been a lot better for him to place his electro dragon instead of all this but uh i guess he thought he could get away with it but GG's, no you cannot. Let's go, guys. A little too late with your Electro Dragon, boy. Try this deck for yourselves. Let me know how it goes. Peace out, everybody.